time, according to the tale, there was this little princess whose skin was very pale. Ah. <laughs> her daddy called her Snow White, but to the kids at school, her nickname was Anemia. <laughs> Can kids be very cruel? <laughs> now, her stepma was good looking, oh yeah. Had a figure that was super. But she was a sicker, 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 sicker. Put it this way, she was a bleeding looper. <laughs> she had this magic mirror to which she often talked. She'd ask a question and words would appear and into the glass she got. Hey, mirror, who's the fairest? She'd ask and whispered hisses. And on the mirror would be Rick. You're looking at her, missus. <laughs> Bit of a smart like this mirror was. But Snow White grew more beautiful, it cannot be denied. But the mirror was scared stiff of the loop, so every day it lied. Which just goes to prove you can't believe everything you read in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one day the mirror had, had enough, and shakingly it said, Snow White is the fairest. Well, the queer she threw the head. <laughs> She said, this isn't in, she said, I just won't stand for this. <laughs> and she screamed like a mad banshee. She gave the mirror's dagger a look. She said, hey, missus, don't you look at me. <laughs> so, she got this DIY book called Fed Up With Your Princess, published by Buckingham Palace. Well, they've had more than one success. <laughs> so, she hired this huntsman who lived down in the woods. She said, take Snow White for a walk and get rid of her for good. Take her deep into the forest. If you have to drag and pull her, then take out your hatchet and make sure you're bleeding sculler. <laughs> the huntsman took the princess off, but could not do the deeds, cause Snow White was so nice to him. Mm. <laughs> I mean, very nice indeed. <laughs> Nothing Snow White about that young one. <laughs> so, so, she became a housemaid for these gang of dwarfs. They were punks and really grotty. Their names were Sleazy, Greasy, Gross, Fisher, Sly and Snotty. <laughs> <laughs> They'd been turned into dwarfs by a witch. They'd once all been six foot gents, but they ended up like aircom shares, reduced by 50%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, when the Queen found out that Snow White still lived, she nearly lost her wits. No misses our wits. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? She took a little bottle of cyanide and a bag of Granny Smith's. She found Snow White and persuaded her to take a little bite. And the stupid young one did, of course. She was as thick as She wasn't very bright. Snow White was catholic. Snow White had a seizure. From her, there was not a sniff. By the time the wharfs got home from work, Poor Snow White was a stiff. Ah. Oh. 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 They laid her body in a glade, in a gorgeous sequin jacket, and a coffin made of water for glass that caught the bleeding packet. <laughs> Sometime later, this prince rode by <coughs> on his horse. <laughs> As the dwarf stood there on duty, he pulled the dwarf called Snotty aside and said, Hey, Charters, who's the beauty? <laughs> Mind your own business, you dirty ogre, Snotty and Anger said. But the prince, he tried to get his wear. Huh? <laughs> so Vicious shot him dead. <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> so, here ends a tale of Snow White, thanks to a dwarf called Vicious. She never got her kiss, but the worms found her delicious. <laughs> Thank you.